All right, what's going on? This is Tower Green Regiment. So today, we are doing a chest and tricep day. We're gonna do chest a little bit differently. We're gonna use some kettlebells, work out those synergistic muscles. Cause you know, a lot of people out there make videos on just basic workouts, but we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Cause there's some supporting muscles that you need to actually strengthen up as well to strengthen your overall physique. So let's get it. All right, so when you're doing this kettlebell press, you wanna make sure you control the weight as it comes down. Don't let it slam down. We're actually controlling because we're working out the synergistic muscles within the shoulder that support us in the extension of the bench press. It's all about safety, it's all about tempo, and it's all about making sure that you keep aligned. Make sure that both, both arms are straight, and check out how I do it. It's not about being fast, at least with this first set. It's all about control. So with this one, you'll notice you don't even need to change the weight. You're going to actually get more tired this second round that you go without even changing your kettlebell. That's because all your muscles are working just to stabilize. This is what I'm saying. Like We're actually thinking differently. Like We're actually working out harder and smarter at the same time, not just smarter. That's what you want to do. Actually, in life in general, work out harder and smarter. Yeah, you're not gonna see anybody doing this. You know why? Because it's hard, that's why. We do things different here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to like our normal regular bench press. But this is how you shock the hell out of your muscles by switching it up. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna do the same kettlebell bands, but we're gonna do them on the incline. And what I want you to pay attention to is, we're gonna alternate. So this is a way that you can figure out which pec is stronger. And that'll also let you know when you're on the bench press using the bar, why one side is going up faster than the other. So this is how we balance out our pecs, other than doing dumbbells. Then twice, I mean two at the same time. Man. Full extension and control. All right, we can add a little bit of weight to that. It's a little bit easier, but yeah, just want to show you a little something different. We can bring it up to 45 now. We're getting stronger. That's because we're more focused and we're consistent. So we increase the weight and we're actually moving through this. So there's only about 30 seconds to a minute rest in between. We're not on the we're not on the phone texting. We're actually making it happen. Utilize the time you have in the gym.
Ah, this is stronger than last week. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh. Ooh. Oh. Ah. I just went to failure on that one because I realized I was stronger than I was last time I did this. So keep pushing yourself. You don't need someone else to always push you. If you don't have a workout partner, you don't need a workout partner. Some of you do, and I get that, but hey, you don't want to just rely on someone else for your success. Doubt. Definitely gonna feel this one. That transition is serious. Ah, oof. Oof. Ah. Ah. Yeah, it's no joke. No joke at all. But I love it. And you will too. Yeah, nice little cable cross. Keep our feet square. We're actually gonna lean our chest into it. Squeeze. Squeeze that chest. That's all we're working here, it's just that chest. Squeezing it in. <laughs> the goal is to keep yourself from moving. That's how we do it. So today, it's not about loading up the weight. It's actually about putting a different stress on your muscle, just like I did there. Follow the program, you can make it happen for yourself. So check it out, the goal with this one is, you're gonna lean forward, right? So sometimes you'll see people using their back, using their shoulders, not today. Today it's all chest, so we're gonna lean into it. We're gonna like, stay stabilized, and we're gonna squeeze that chest. And keep your feet square. We're not gonna stagger the feet this time, we're just keeping them square. At least for this set. Just we're working at inner chest. Well, we're just using the chest just to squeeze in. See, it's not that difficult, but it's all about just being patient with it, taking the time and actually focusing on the on the actual muscle. That's all you gotta do. Check it out. So with, so with this next set, we're gonna add a little bit more weight and we wanna make sure we squeeze even more. That's how we're doing. We'll switch it up sometimes, put a different stress on the muscle for a muscle hypertrophy, get those pecs nice and big. Staggered the feet because the weight got heavier and that wouldn't allow us to be able to, to actually stabilize the chest and do the workout properly. But staggering the feet is cool. I do it every now and then, but sometimes I like to keep the feet nice and square. So I'm isolating the chest. Give it a try. busy schedules and we don't want to be in the gym all day long so this is how you cut down this is how you cut down your gym time keep your phone in your locker or keep it in your car or keep it in your bag stop texting people in between sets because that eats up your time i'm actually competing with that voice back there so hopefully you can hear me but what that does is 
that actually just eats up the time and lengthens the time in between your sets, which isn't giving you the proper amount of actual tension on your muscle and the fatigue that you really need to help you build muscle, help you get in better shape. Take that tip, think about it, because that person who's on the phone might be you. We're gonna do 20 reps of this tricep pull down. We're gonna use this grip right here. I don't know if your gym has it, but if, it, if, it, if your gym doesn't have it, it's okay. You can use the, the rope, totally fine. But I like this grip. We're gonna extend at the bottom. It's actually too light. Let me, let me, uh, have some more weight on that. Here we go. It's a little too light. Here we go. So you bring it together at the top. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. And you separate at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice little warm up. That weight was kind of light. I'm gonna go a little heavier next time. Make sure you challenge yourself as well. When you know that it's too light, add some weight onto that. Short sleeve shirt for you next time so you can see these uh, rippling muscles. Yes. Alright, we're gonna add some weight now. Make sure you squeeze down and out. Bring it together, squeeze down, pull, and pull the attachment up. Lighten it a little bit, because I want to do some more reps. Lighten it one more time. Triceps are burning. It out. So now we're gonna work out this weak part of the tricep back here. You know when you're waving and all that's flapping. Well, this is how you tighten that up. Notice, right, that when I'm bringing it back, my elbows are locked in the same position. I'm bringing the, uh, the, the, the oh, I'm bringing the attachment together and bringing it out together. Out, you're gonna start really feeling it here. It burns, but that's how you want it to burn. You want it to feel that way. You want it to burn. You want it to build that muscle. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's nice. Add some more weight to that. You really feel that squeeze. You feel that that tension, that tightness, and most importantly, you feel that burn. Absolutely obliterate yourself on that last set. Time for some abs. Alright, so we're gonna do a little something I kind of made up, a little kayaking type of abdominal workout. You don't need to use the bar, but I'm using the bar because if I don't use the bar, it's a little bit too easy for me. But the goal here is keep the abs nice and tight the entire time. And I want you as you come up, keep squeezing, but I need you to breathe. This is all about the core work right here. Done. I add a little adjustment to it. Arm straight. Chin to the seal. See, when you have a strong core, it makes all of your other workouts even stronger because the core really is the base of just about every workout that you do. It's all about core stability, core strength. So here's a little modification. If you don't have a bar around you, start this way. Right shoulder to left knee. Left shoulder to right knee. Squeeze. And then right before you get too tired, Arm straight, chin to the ceiling. That's what it takes. Get those nice, those nice abs popping off a little something. love to finish every workout with cardio. I say love, but I really don't love it. I don't want to do cardio any day. But you need to really burn that fat that you have. And the way you're going to do that is being consistent with your resistance training and also with your cardio. It's just how it works. There's no escaping it. Some people like to walk. Nah, for me, I'll save the walking until I'm 100 years old. But for now, 
I like a run. I can do a nice, faster jog and then run or do intervals. I'm gonna do that. So I suggest you to do the same. And for me, I do about 20 minutes of cardio, but that's because I'm not really looking to lose a great amount of weight at all. So I'd say 30 minutes is great. Do it right after your workout. And remember, like I said, it's the way you maximize that time that you have in the gym and stay off your phone. Do your workout, do your cardio, and get the hell out of the gym. All right, so this is the post-workout banter. Got my hands in my pocket because it's pretty cold out here in Los Angeles, but this is what I want to touch on really quickly. So I took some time off doing cardio. It was the holidays, you know, in December, and I'm like, why not? And when I came back to the gym on January 2nd, doing cardio was extremely exhausting. It was ridiculous. I actually wanted to just stop, but I didn't. And now exactly five days later, I did the same level of cardio and it was so much easier. So I'm just basically telling you, it's all about consistency. You're gonna wanna stop doing certain things. It's a microcosm of life, you know? But you just wanna push through. So with cardio specifically, start on day one, it's gonna be tough. Follow it through five days in a row. I promise you, it'll definitely get easier and you will thank me and remember what I said. So if you do this, leave a comment in, this, in, the, in the comment section, let me know that the same uh, theory work for you. But you know, I've been uh, on YouTube here and there and I've been seeing this subject come up that I just wanted to discuss with you. I wanna get your thoughts about it. So please engage with me and let me know what you think about this. So I've been seeing all these videos about all these influencers using TRT or they're coming out and they're admitting that they take steroids. This is really cool because, you know, years ago, and I've been working out consistently for like 22 years. And back then, Nobody said a word. I was really naive too because I thought, hey, everybody was kind of like me. They were really, really, really like strict and analytical about their diet. And they didn't do anything. They just kind of ate well and they worked out. And then as I got a little older, started working out a little bit longer, started meeting people who were more honest about what they did. Then I learned, okay, people are taking, you know, steroids and no big deal. I don't take steroids. I Luckily right now, even though I'm not the youngest, I don't have to take TRT currently. I'm not gonna rule that out in the future because you never know, but right now, thankfully I don't have to do it, but I'm not against any of it. I'm like, hey, do whatever you wanna do. I just think it's really silly that people will lie about what they do. It's like, come on, there's no need to lie. I mean, a lot of these influencers have people who look up to you. No need to lie, but I guess some of these people, so I have my own business, as you know, uh, plant-based protein, so I don't need, I guess, any sort of endorsements from other companies, but I guess some of these other guys, like that's what they ain't girls probably, they need those endorsements, so I guess that's why they're not honest. But it looks like the day has changed. So I wanna know from you, like what do you think about all this? You know, what do you think about people coming out and being honest, yeah, I, I guess most recently, the Liver King, but he didn't really come out. He was, uh, he was brought out and then he was honest about it and it seems like he was pretty genuine in his apology. But yeah, so I just wanna know from you, like what do you think, engage with me, let me know. Um, if you're on TRT or if you take steroids, just you know, just, just let me know. Let me know how you were prior to you taking it, how do you feel now? I do realize from every video that I hear, this is something that you're gonna to have to do for the rest of your life. And, you know, I guess it's just kinda of how it is, right? I mean, you have to work out every day if you wanna look a certain way, you have to eat well, if you want your health to be a certain level. So I guess for some people, you know, you have to take certain certain supplements or drugs or whatever to continue that. Um, I'm big on supplementation, um, as you might not know. I, I love all the types of, you know, just different type mushrooms, you know, different types of, you know, adaptogens. I'm all about the plant-based lifestyle. We could talk about that in another banter, but just wanted to get your, your, uh, your take. Just want to get your opinion on this. Make sure you please subscribe to the channel, share this video. Make sure you like the video as well, and give me your thoughts. I'll see you next time.